Hi, welcome back with new Zotero tutorial. If Zotero became a part of your second brain system, then you badly need to sync your Zotero article into multiple computers, just like me. So unlike Obsidian, you cannot sync Zotero only using Google Drive because Zotero maintains a database system which might get corrupted with drive sync. Good point is Zotero by default has a syncing service. So let me show you how to set it up. Go to preference, sync, click on create account and put your username, email address and password. You might need to verify your account, then go back to your Zotero and log in using the username and password. Your Zotero sync is done. Log into your Zotero using the same credentials. Wait for a moment, all of your article will be populated instantly in your new machine. How cool is that? Zotero basic sync service is only limited to 300 megabytes of free spaces. You know that is not sufficient if you want to sync all of your PDF articles. You have to purchase extra storage from Zotero. For 2GB $20 per year, for 6GB $60 per year and unlimited $120 per year. Good news is there is a way to sync your Zotero database for free. Yes, you heard it right, it's 100% free. So you need to do a little bit of hard work for setup. How do you manage unlimited Zotero stores for free? I get this question frequently. So let me uncover the secret. My syncing process works in two ways. Firstly, I use Zotero default sync service to sync the database since Google Drive cannot sync database file. Secondly, I sync the attachments and PDFs using the Google Drive. That's why I get unlimited space. You can use OneDrive Dropbox for syncing attachment. Let me show you how the whole process works. Step 1. Download the Zot file extension. Open the extension manager from tool, add-ons. Drag and drop the Zot file XPI file and restart Zotero. Step 2. Go to Zotero, preference, advanced, files and folder and set up the base directory. This is the base directory in your Google Drive where Zotero will put all of your PDFs. So let's create a folder in Google Drive, name it Zotero DB, select the folder as base directory. Step 2. Go to tools, sort file preference and choose the Zotero DB folder as custom location. Now you are all set. Every time you need to add an article, the PDF will be renamed and moved into Zotero DB folder. Now I am logged into a different computer. At this point, I will show you how to sync the Zotero database in this computer just as before. Log into the Zotero sync account that I did for previous computer. This way, Zotero database will be synced, but the database doesn't store the attachment, PDFs, etc. That's why I cannot see the PDF with the article. Let me share the Zotero DB folder from previous computer and add that folder into the current computer. Remember, the Zotero DB folder location is not same for both of the PCs. Let me show you in this PC. See, the location is different. So copy this location and set up this location just as before. Go to Zotero preference, advanced, files and folder and set up the base directory. This is the shared directory in your Google Drive where Zotero will put all of the PDFs. Then go to tools, Zot file preferences and choose the Zotero DB folder as custom location. Now both of your computers will be synced with PDFs and attachments. It is completely free. You have to do one more thing. Select all of your previous article, right click, manage attachments, rename and move. This way all of the article will be moved into your Google Drive Zotero DB folder. I believe now your second brain will be little bit better than before. So that's all for today. If you are new to my channel, I'm Shubham Kordash, PhD student, Clarkson University, New York. If you find this video useful, please hit subscribe and bell icon and share with your friends.